everybody. Today I have another haul for you and today's haul is from Illigui. But before we jump into that, I just want to take a brief moment to discuss the sassiness in which my makeup is today. I feel like I've reconnected with my love of color, not only in my fashion, but in my uh, eyeshadow. So I've been playing around with a lot of funky eyeshadows and I'm kind of feeling it a lot. It's more me, I think. Anyway, let's talk about how this haul came to be. I asked Illiqui for a couple pieces. I do this occasionally as a blogger for something I was planning to shoot. And then I got a package from them and there were a lot of items that I didn't request that they just sent me. And I was like, okay, well, there's enough here for a haul and I don't have anything else to do. So let's film a haul. And that's how this haul <laughs> came to be. So let's just get started with the first item in the box. So the first item is this really pretty dress that's like off the shoulder and kind of dreamy and ethereal. It does have that puff sleeve. And I will tell you this, like puff sleeves came back for a little while and then went away and now they're like back again. And it's like the bigger the sleeve, the better it seems. What I like about this is it does have kind of like a print to the fabric, but it's not quite lace. It does come to a nice empire waist here, comes out and then has a nice ruffle here at the bottom. This feels very ethereal, like something I would want to shoot in my field, like frolicking, um, almost like a modern but vintage vibe. I love it. I think it's so pretty. Inside it's lined with an acetate liner, which is my only thing I don't like about it because they stick to you in the summer, but it happens and it could have pockets because I believe all things should be engineered with pockets, even gorgeous fancy dresses like this. But other than that, it's gorgeous. And I love this off the shoulder like neckline for me. It works really well with my body type and I feel especially glamorous in off the shoulder pieces. So I'm really pumped about this one. So this dress is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I did not think it would look this good on, but it's like summer bride feelings. My <laughs> God, I ain't got no man. Oh, I love. I need to like find a beach to like walk wistfully on while wearing this. Just like with a, with a ponder in my mind. So the next piece we have is this amazing midi dress and it comes all the way down in stripe and has a little slit here in the front, but not too much, which I really appreciate because when there are slits in the front that are a little bit too high up, us thick thighed sisters, <laughs> it's just not fair. It's just not fair to us, so whatever. I love the stripes in this. It's a nice lightweight stretchy material, a good dolman top that comes down to a stretch. There is no lining on it, for, so just something to be aware of, but it is super fun. So I'm working on some kind of fun rainbow stuff for June for obvious reasons. And I might just have to work this dress into it. Another thing I've noticed that Illiqui's done that I've been actually really impressed with is during this time where you can't do a photo shoot, they've been using influencers to shoot the pieces at home. And I think it's been an interesting way to reimagine how fashion can be shared with buyers. I mean, we're used to seeing it on influencers all the time. Why not use them as the photos you use to sell the product? So I'm interested to see how that works for them and if it's something they do beyond the times of COVID. I feel like this is like a sexy caftan. Who's that lady? Who's that lady? Sexy lady. That's how I feel. <laughs> So this is another off the shoulder dress, except this one has a little bit bigger sleeve, so you know it's more valuable. And I love this little smocking down at like the elbow or uh, I guess mid arm length. It's really cute. The print is something I wouldn't have picked out for myself. I just maybe wouldn't have thought of it as something for me, but I did try this on and I fell in love. What it is is a polka dot print in gold, navy, light blue, and gray on like a cream base. Now, I would have looked at this and went, mm, I don't think it's for me, which is kind of fun that they sent it because when I tried it on, it looked really good. And I was surprised and I was like, you know what? Constantly, even as a blogger, I have to re-imagine how I see myself in things because sometimes I'm cutting out opportunities to wear really, really cute things just because for some reason I don't feel connected to the piece or I feel like, oh, that won't work for me. And sometimes even I'm wrong about that. So you like you see it and you're like, I don't think that's gonna be cute on. And then you try it on and you're like, no, that's adorable. 
So the next piece is, I don't know, it's a little weird. I can't figure the neckline out in the, entirely. Um, I mean, it looks good on, but I don't know why you wouldn't just like untie the sleeves and have it be off shoulder. So I've been trying to understand like how this dress is like ideally meant to be worn. Maybe it's meant to be worn both ways and this is just an option. But when I looked at this and I was like, okay, this is cotton. I decided I'm gonna dip dye it because I think it'd be really fun to have a white dress that like fades to a color. I haven't decided what color, but I kind of just want to like add a little bit of my own touch to this dress. So what I'm excited about is that it's cotton and that means I can tie dye it and I can play around and get it to where I want it to be. It also has some really cool eyelet-ish features to it and is fully lined in cotton as well. So a good, nice summer dress on its own, but just imagine how magical it'll look like if it has like a navy blue dip dye. Mm, it's gonna look good. I can't wait to like do it. Just have to like, you know, get the materials, set aside the time, you know, all those things. <laughs> So I hope you guys can see what I mean. It's like, I'm not sure how I feel about this neck back line combo, but otherwise it's really cute. It's gonna look even cuter when I tie it on it. So the next dress I have is a multi-ruffle dress. It goes from a green, like mintish green, to a pink, then a red, and then finally a purple. It does have a little tie here at the waist you can use. Most likely though, I will use a belt because I prefer using a different fabric. I think it makes it, um, just a little bit more contrast, which I enjoy. It has nice little straps here at the side and then ruffles down in the front. So it's just a ruffly fun dress. I think this is very um, party dressy, right? This is what I would wear to like a little, you know, brunch in the park or something where I was gonna go see my girlfriends and I wanted to look cute, but still wanted to be really comfortable. It's made of a nice lightweight fabric and I'm just gonna check what that actual fabric is. Cause you know, I can't tell for certain it is made out of rayon. So it's a really nice, lightweight material. And it's cute, I just like the colors. I love color. Shock, shock and awe. I love color, what? So, 100% um, I will iron this before I go out in it, but it's so fun and flirty and the ruffles have such great movement. Like, look at this. Ah, how awesome is that? Next, when I opened this dress, I was like, I don't know where I'm gonna wear this, but I'm gonna find somewhere. I feel like I need to become a lounge singer in like a bar in New York, where I also like in between songs talk about my life and my struggles. It's just a sparkly, like sea wave, like wiggly line dress in different blues and silver. It's just magical. Um, again, I need to figure out where to wear it. But what I think is really cool is in between each stripe is like a moment of mesh and it's really not heavy for a sequin dress, which I've worn some really heavy sequin dress. But because it's sewn onto this mesh, it's actually like not bad. And it feels pretty lightweight and you can see through the mesh parts. So it's kind of like a little sexy and sparkle all in one, which I am here for. Again, it has a little belt here that ties, but I would probably change this up for something else because that's who I am. But yeah, I like this one. This was like a good surprise. It was a good surprise. Oh, the shark deer has many teeth, deer, and he uses them to bite. I feel like a jazz singer. I feel 100% like a sparkly jazz singer. Boop. So next I have two pieces, but they really deserve to be worn together. It's a candy striped blazer and matching candy striped shorts. Candidly, I think both of these pieces are fantastic and could be great alone or together, but I figured because I purchased them to go together, I would show them to you guys together and because they're the same print. There's no point in having them separate. Um, they're made of the exact same fabric. These shorts look super comfortable. One thing to note is there's not any stretch in these. So buy a size up if you're concerned about thighs or whatever it might be, but these are so fun. Like, look at that. Look at the color. The colors, Duke. The colors. That was like a popsicle commercial from when I was a wee little babe. And I still remember it. So effective advertising, one might say. The top is meant to be left open. So it's not going to be like one of those blazers you close. It's meant to be kind of like worn, like an open cardigan. Has a nice little shawl collar here. Comes down and has pockets right in here. And then inside is lined with like um, a shiny acetate. I don't know, I'm really excited about this. It's like Candyland meets Mary Poppins and I'm very into that aesthetic, very into it. 
So I love the look of this. It's really cute. But the arms of this jacket are a little tight and I really wish I had a size larger. Unfortunately though, I think this is pretty much sold out. So at least in the larger sizes. So I'm stuck with this tighter sleeved one that just doesn't fit me quite right. But the shorts are really comfortable. The last piece we have is another kind of like puffy sleeve situation because clearly the puff is here to stay which is good because I've got big arms and I appreciate the extra room that the puff gives you. I don't know if anyone else at home is sitting on their couch going, yes, puff sleeves. But when that's in, it's really good for me because then I don't have to worry about any tightness in my arm. And for me, that's actually uncomfortable and I don't like it. So the more like sleeve girth you want to give me with like some extra fabric, the more likely I am to buy your dress because I like it. I like it a lot. This is a fun little floral in oranges, blues, and yellows. Now this is like some of my favorite colors together. So of course I love this dress. It's lightweight, sits across the top, almost like a boat neck, very open, very like vintagey feeling. At the bottom, we have a cute little ruffle. And as far as what this lovely dress is made of, just wanna make sure I get it right. And it is, my guess is right. It's 100% cotton. So it's a great little feeling dress. It looks adorable and it's gonna be perfect for summer. I will say it is online and it might need a little bit of a slip because I'm not so sure if this is gonna be sheer or not. But other than that, I cannot fault it. It is adorable. And frankly, I'll be very real here. I would rather wear some like cream shorties and a good fitting bra than wear like an um, uncomfortable slip under something. That way I can fit what works best. But that's me, may not be you. Um, so it's kind of funny because this dress like matches my background perfectly. So talk about coordinating with your apartment. <laughs> I really like this dress. I think it's really, really cute. It's comfortable and I would just iron it before I wear it. <laughs> yeah, the theme of today is, man, I should have seen this before filming, but yeah, here we are. Here we are. This is reality. This is where I'm at right now. <laughs> so that's it. Those are all the items that Iloqui sent me. Again, they did not sponsor this and I had no idea that they were going to send this to me and they probably have no idea that I'm going to make this haul. So everybody's a little bit surprised in this situation, but I'm grateful for it. There are some pieces I really love, some pieces that were like, okay, and some pieces I'm going to use and make something that I am absolutely obsessed with. That's how it is. Um, links to everything are down in the description box as usual. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I'll check you later and peace.